Hi, this is Susan from Stewart Design LLC, and today we're going to talk about your layers palette in InDesign. Now, it's the layers palette is a great way of organizing yourself and your work when you're doing um, any type of uh, visual elements in InDesign. So, for example, if you look here, I've got this mock layout, and inside of this mock layer layout, each element is on a layer. Inside of the layers palette, I always like to organize myself. I put my grid on one layer, my background, my image, my type, and my master page elements. Now, whatever comes first in your layers is, for example, the, the first element um, is always the first viewing element. So the last element or your last layer, it's, it's actually an order of importance. So your first element is the first thing that's going to be seen first. Your last is the last thing that's going to be seen first. So for example, if I take this background layer and move it on top of my type layer, do you see now how it's coming before my type layer? So therefore on this page, you cannot see my type at all. So anyway, and that's one element or one feature of the layers palette that you can do. You can actually drag and drop your layers on top of each other and move them around. Also, too, if you see that I'm clicking on these different type of layers, what's highlighted and you see a pen tool is the actual layer that you're on. When you're on that layer, you have options over here on the side to turn it off or hide and show your layer. It almost looks like an eye. If you go over to the right of that you can actually lock that layer meaning if you go into that actual layer you can't move that layer element at all. Now here's something that's very uh, new in InDesign CS5 or a new uh, element that's been added to CS5. Inside of that layers you have these sub layers and InDesign automatically goes ahead and names those sublayers for you, which is pretty cool. Another feature in the layers palette, we've uh, got over here in your layer options. Paste Remember Layers is really cool to turn on. I like to use that when I'm doing my layouts simply because, let's just say I want to copy and delete or let's just say I'm working in a hurry um, and I'm on the, another type of layer and I've taken that layer off of my type layer and I want to paste it back on to that same layer and I'm moving fast, it remembers what layer I've copied and pasted that from. So when I go back to that layer or just go back and paste it, for example, here we are, it pasted it back on that layer. So it's a super cool feature in uh, the layers palette that I use a lot. Um, also, too, you can go down to the bottom and create new layer. All right. Uh, you can also name that layer. Let's just name it test for now. You can select the color. In this case, uh, let's go make it orange. All right. So if you notice here, all of these layers have a color assigned to it. So, for example, let's just click on my image layer. If you notice the bounding box, um, that you see here is in blue, so that kind of gives you an idea. Let me click on my Chicago layer of what layer that you're on. It color codes those layers. Uh, you can, at the bottom of the palette, you've got your delete layer. So, for example, let's just go in and delete that test layer. All right, so that's basically the layers palette in a nutshell. Um, thanks for listening and hope you learned something.